But if you go deeper, they go back to uh, various parts of uh, West Africa. Like I remember Chris Tucker, his line, his DNA goes back to Cameroon. That's the western side of, of Africa, all right? Ain't too much flavor coming out. Ain't no flavor coming out of East Africa. Even though you had Israelites scattered throughout the whole planet, they were basically concentrated down there in um, West Africa. Um, uh, West Africa knows those regions, like uh, like I said, Senegal, Cameroon, Nigeria, uh, Sierra Leone. All right. Then you had the slaves through an act of uh, uh, Congress that had the slaves of this country go back to Africa, and they had set up a, a land for them. They called it um, uh, Li Liberia. And those are former slaves. So those are Israelites going back to Africa. I'm looking forward to seeing all the lions. This is the book of Matthew 5 and 13. It says, now this is something Yahweh Shai said about the Israelites. It says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It salt didn't lose his savor. What it's really talking about is what we're teaching, the truth that we're Israelites. We have we are that salt. These jakes out here, they don't have the salt. So what's gonna happen to them? They're gonna be they're gonna be cast, they're gonna be cast to the side, man. That's right. Now, when you take it on another level, wider sense, yep, yep. On a wider sense. It's talking about Jake's flavor right. that they have. That's right. They, they, they make things happen. All right? Yeah, that's that's why, uh, why do you think America is so live? You know, and everywhere Jake goes, they, they make they make things happen. You know, that's why you even got, like, the, uh, among the mother nations, those are Jake's. They just look like those people. That's why they got that flavor. That's why they can move like they move. Because they're Israelites. Um, there's another scripture to back it up. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee. Uh, who is it talking to? The Israelites. The book of Deuteronomy refers to the Israelites. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we're the ones that have the, the most flavor out of all people. The Israelites, we have the most flavor. Like the scriptures say, we are the salt of the earth. What is salt? You know, like you can have a plate of food and it don't taste that hot. It's bland, it's bland like hospital food. <laughs> but take some salt, man, preferably some Celtic uh, uh, brown sea salt. Himalayan the real salt, not that I, I, was it I, I, that, uh, iodize, not that iodized bullshit, all right? The real salt. You take it and you sprinkle it over that food, man. That food just springs to life. Yep. Well, that's us. That's our nature. We, yeah. we bring things to life. Yep. Like a, a, an Edomite will play drums and he'll play it bland. An right. Israelite play drums, he make that, he make that thing sing. Yep. All right? The way he twirl the sticks and the way, he, the, the, you know, the chops that he got, you know? He bring that thing to life, man. He can't let it go because it's a mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's what James that's what James Brown said. He said, Don't turn that beat loose, because it's a mother. Then James started, you know, that's a classic example, James Brown. Why was he the godfather soul? Because he was an Israelite. He wasn't from the Sudan. No, he wasn't from East Africa either. He didn't have a bone in his nose and a plate in his lip, all right? Uh, you give me give me one of them uh, I mean uh, uh, unless they're Israelites, but you give me one of them damn Sudanese that jump up and down and, 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 and chant some crazy demonic shit. Get one of them to do the James Brown and get down like James Brown used to, used to do. You know, or, or at least half of what he used to do. You can't do it, not even a quarter. Because you don't you don't have the same spirit. See that's what you don't understand is that not every person of color is 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 the same nation. You know, the majority of people on the planet are of color, people of color, dark skin. You know, but what happened was, you know, you have the division among the nations and the Most High chose Israel and made, made us more special than these other people. And, and, and the confusion comes in because everybody, if everybody's dark, they, they're all supposed to be related. It don't work like that. You know, there's a division of nations. Yeah, this is uh, one Peter. I got to say it like Trump. I got to give it the Trump flavor. Yeah, he might be a Jake. It's yeah, big, this is big head. It's a big, it's a shit talking yeah, devil, man. 
Yeah, the dead hawk. Yeah, the, the albino hawk on his head. Uh, one Peter, <laughs> First Peter two and nine. It says this is talking about Israel, but ye, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. Not them Hamites. That's why them black countenance guys wouldn't dare move out to Africa, man. Uh, push that Egyptian name, the way the Egy ancient Egypt. What have the ancient Egyptians did lately, man? What have they did lately? Not a goddamn thing. They down there in the Sudan. The, re the real ones, the tall, black, ugly ones, they got sticks in their hand out in the fucking field. Don't know what the hell it can be. They look at a goddamn, you set them a laptop, they'll look at it like, what the hell is this? They don't know what a stove is. They don't know what a microwave is. They just out there in the bush wearing diapers, jumping around with sticks in, them, uh, 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 in their hands, man. You know? It's a damn shame, brother. <laughs> it says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. You see niggas, and even them, them Latin tribes, they follow Jake. They got their pants. Now, it's, they, they, at one time, you had the pants hanging down. Now it's hanging down below than the damn drawers, man. Talking. And they look at you. Can see, I see these niggas. I observe you niggas, man. <laughs> I observe you in the streets. You walk past a damn store with a, a window, and you with your stupid girl, yet that knucklehead bitch. That's why I, I and you got your pants you? down, yeah. and you looking at your own ass. Because I commend them for doing that. It's and you tapping on your girl. Right you got your pants. I seen it the other day, man. I see it every fucking day. You see a nigga with, with his, fact, his pants down past the, the, with a cheek, below the no cheek. With a, see you see the drawers man, out there, and he's looking at himself in a goddamn mirror. Are you going to tell me that's that's not peculiar? You got a baseball cap. Baseball, uh, baseball players yeah. use baseball caps to keep the sun do, from so going into their the the eye, just like wagon. sun visor. Yeah, that's what. That's why it's Corporate designed McDonald's that way. No what does a nigga do? He puts the baseball cap to the tip to the side or ass backwards. All right. Hey, you got Esau. You have these uh, SUVs. You know where the SUV came from? It came from the Jeep. The Jeep come from the the military which means general purposes. Now, what made it, what gave the Jeep swagger, which became an SUV, was Jake. An SUV is to, is to really climb, it's, for, it's a four by four, it's to climb up hills and mountains and, and mud and all that and snow, right? Jake, Jake was style, style and profile with that damn Jeep. So Esau saw that, he said, damn, let me yeah. make it luxurious, man. Yeah, let right. me make that Jeep luxurious. Where'd you get that from? You got that from Jake, man. Them people from uh, Paris, Paris, France, those uh, those uh, designers, they they hang around Jake. You know why they hang around Jake? To get the flavor out of Jake to come up with some new design. Yeah. Okay? I got the definition of peculiar ahead, for you. Go ahead, go uh, ahead. Yeah, because some of you niggas, you ain't going to look it up. That's why uh, Tommy Sotomayor, he'll say a big word, a $50 word, and then he'll say, look it up, nigga. Cause, Cause, the average nigga ain't gonna look it up. Uh, the word peculiar. Uh, the definition is uh, strange or odd, unusual. And th all those descriptions that Apostle Elder Tar was giving you about niggas fits that man. Uh, strange, unusual, odd, funny, <laughs> funny, curious. Like the pants below that. You can't tell me that ain't funny. Pants below the ass. Curious, bizarre, weird. It says queer. Because <laughs> the biggest faggots are really niggas, man. When a nigga becomes a faggot, he takes that to the he takes it tenth to the power yep. faggotry. <laughs> yep, that, that damn right, boy. Man, all the... All, the, all you got to do is go, uh, go to really YouTube and put in um, Prance and Elite. There are various see, faggots see, right that there. men, black men, that that dance like damn women, man. Oh, yeah. But it's how like, look at uh, RuPaul. That's a perfect it. example. <laughs> he out woman's a woman. All right? They may call you a faggot um, or a drag Unexpected, queen. unfamiliar, call them. abnormal, when you are atypical, all of the same thing, anomalous, then you 
have to I mean, go that's to pretty much point. it. That's the definition of words, peculiar. If I'm the black, yes, yeah, it says it goes black, on to say that ye should show forth the praises of him. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to show forth the most high's praises, not act a damn fool. All right. We are the ones that are showing, well, not just us, there's other Israelite groups that are showing some form of uh, powerlessness, but they don't have 100% right, okay? We're the main examples. We're showing that you are Israelites, you know, you're supposed to keep the laws, you're supposed to keep the Sabbath, you're supposed to, if you eat pork, stop eating pork, you're supposed to, you know, you know, follow the, 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 the high holy days, you know, you're supposed to uh, do the things that the law says to do. All right? So that's what we're supposed to do. The most high, that's what made us peculiar, different from other nations. All right? It says that ye should show forth the praises. Now, hold up. Let me look up, look up the word praises. Let me look up, the, look up the word praises. That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, if Christ called you, I'm going to use that word, Christ. If Christ <laughs> called you, you got you to gotta honor, you gotta honest, honor Christ, right? But if you how about show me how Shai called you out of this darkness into his marvelous light, then you got to praise him. If you how about show me how Shai called you out of this darkness, why are you going to turn around and call, call yourself honoring him and call him Christ? Don't make no sense. You looked it up? Yeah. Um, uh, praises. <coughs> the Greek word there is... Uh, Strong's G703. Adate. Adate. It says, uh, a virtuous course of thought, feeling, and action. Uh, virtue, moral goodness. Any particular moral excellence as modesty, purity. I got some real quick. This is our Second Samuel chapter seven, verse twenty-two. Wherefore thou art great, O Yahweh, power, for there is none like thee; neither is there any power beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom the Most High went to redeem for a people to Himself and to make Him a name. And to do for you great things and terrible, terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. So basically the Lord saying what one nation is like unto thy people Israel. You know, that's even when you go back into the history, you know, King David, when after the most High gave King David that victory when the uh, Ark of the Covenant was brought back. He was dancing, you know, he, I mean, he was getting down. He was dancing so hard that his rod came out of his uh, out of his uh, clothing. You know, that's how hard he was dancing. No, he probably was dancing like James Brown or, or better. Yeah, so if the Israelites don't exist, then guess what? The Mosai and the Son don't exist. Because the Israelites are the Lord's chosen people. So according to them monkeys that call themselves black consciousness, if if the Mosai don't exist or his son don't exist, then I mean if the Israelites don't exist, then the Mosai or his son don't exist. All right, because they are the Lord's chosen people. Um, I got a scripture for you, uh, the book of Ezekiel 14 and 6. This goes back to what um, Elder Apostle Tar was saying about that you Israelites, you were created to serve the Heavenly Father. You were created to serve the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's your very purpose. You go in the book of Ecclesiastes, it tells you that. What is the conclusion of the whole matter? Fear the Heavenly Father and what? Keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. What kind of man? Israelite man. All right. Uh, Exodus 14 and 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols. The main idol you have now is this American dream bullshit. I mean, you can't see America's going down, man. But a lot of you can't see it. Because the Heavenly Father have blinded you. And guess what? You're going to die right along with America. All right. Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. 
like homosexuality. A lot of you Israelites are homosexuals. A lot of you Israelite women are lesbians. That's an abomination in the sight of the Lord. For every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separateth himself from me, and setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity uh, before his face, and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. And we're the modern-day prophets that the Lord has set up. The word prophet means to say before. The Lord have put the Spirit on us to tell you things that's going to happen before it happens. Like America's destruction, that is going to happen. It's inevitable. All right? That's it. Matthew 5, and I'm going to go back to the word praise, all right? Because I went back to the root, the etymology of the word. And that same definition in the, he, in the um, blue letter. This is Matthew 5 and 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, in other words, taste, what makes a steak taste good or what make eggs taste good, all right? Like there's a, um, Job had made a statement about, uh, about uh, salt, right? It's, uh, Job, in the book of Job 6 and 6, it says, Can that which is unsavory, in other words, without taste, bland, mm -hmm. be eaten without salt? Mm. Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you go down to eat and somebody don't put salt in it, you're going to spit it out. You're not going to eat it. You're going to say, where's the salt? Right. You have the food, but to make it taste good, you need that salt. It's the same thing with the most high. Yeah. If he don't see that salt, he's going to he throw this food out. I'm not eating this. Yeah. Going back to Matthew's uh, 5.13. Ye are the salt of the earth. And if the salt have lost, that's why you had the, um, the all-star game up there in Canada this year. So now when it left the U.S., because for years it's been in, it's been in the U.S. It's a U.S. thing, the all-star game. Now it's in Canada, so it went it went. Uh, international, it went global because everybody around the world watched or keep up with the um, with the uh, all star game with the um, the NBA, uh, uh, the uh, NBA finals, the championships. They keep up with that whole season, man. All right, so on that level, we 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 are that salt, we are that flavor, you know, in Esau came up with the game of basketball you had crackers playing it and that shit was boring as hell man all right then you had jakes starting with um bill russell and um uh, was it walt chamberlain was it w wilt chamberlain wilt chamberlain all right and then you had um years down down the road you had uh uh dr j then you had uh, um you, you had Dawkins. a lot, you, huh? Daryl Dawkins. You had Dawkins. You had a lot of different players. Then the game became really a black man's game. Yeah. And the majority of the players are so-called black people, Israelites, because they give flavor to the game. Now you got a couple of uh, so-called whites in there, which they could be Jake any damn way, yeah. right? That might have came from the European leagues, okay? Yeah, like Paul Mooney say, once you go black, you never go back. That's 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 right. <laughs> That's what Except happened. Except for the case of uh, <laughs> O.J. Simpson's wife. And <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with. Uh, and that's why. <laughs> and that's why O.J. Yeah. did what he did. Yeah, that's what happened with basketball, man. Yeah, he he laid yeah. hands on the bitch. Yeah. She basketball. was a big woman any damn way. Yeah, it went black and it never went back. Yeah, Who the hell wanted to see them? First of all, them guys they had them real short, short, shorts, looking like real faggots, running up and down the court with no flavor. You ain't gonna go back to that. The way Jake plays now. you shots. Yeah. Kicked that finger the roll. Out, kicked the knee out. That yeah. shit was dead, man. Yeah. Jake changed, revolutionized the whole. That's right. Uh, the whole game. That's right. And, um, college wise, high school wise, football, the NFL and so forth, the AFL. Jake, man. Oh, so Michael who, who Jordan. Dominant, huh? Michael Jordan. I mean that. Jordan. Guy. Boxing. Boxing. Yeah. All right. 
Boxing, Jake brought thing. boxing to a whole different level, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and um and and they had to change the makeup of the of the uh of the backboard because Daryl Dawkins used to rip the damn uh, uh basket out of the out of the thing and would break the freaking uh, backboards. Yep. So they had to change the whole design. Yeah, yeah. Dawkins, yeah. That's 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 Jake, man. And Shaq. Just a big overgrown Negro. You know? Oh, another thing about salt too, it preserves things. Like I know, I remember in the islands, people that didn't have a refrigerator, if they had meat, like when they kill a goat, they'd have stacks of meat, right? You know what they'd do? They'd put salt on it. Yeah. They'd bathe it with salt. Yeah, yeah. And that preserves it. And that preserves it. Like beef jerky, turkey jerky, that's what that's what that's all about. That's right. Let me read it again. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its uh, savior, wherewith 